The nuclear pore complex. The first part of this video will be spent going over the two questions shown on the website. The answer to the multiple choice question was B. The statement read, the nuclear pore complex contains around 30 different nuclear porins which are highly variable between yeast and vertebrates. This is incorrect as the nuclear porins are actually highly conserved. The second question shows a structural depiction of the nuclear pore complex which requires labelling. So firstly we have the nuclear envelope. This is the membrane of the nucleus and is explained in further detail in the video relating to the nuclear envelope. Next we can see the cytoplasmic filaments, also known as the cytosolic fibrils. These are shown to protrude into the cytoplasm from the outer membrane of the nuclear envelope. The next four labels show the cytoplasmic ring, the outer spoke ring, the nucleoplasmic ring and the inner spoke ring. These all make up the structure known as the spoke ring assembly. Then we have the central transporter. The function of the central transporter is still unknown, but it is thought to regulate the passage of molecules through the nuclear pore complex. The final label we have is the nuclear basket. The nuclear basket has many important roles in a number of processes, including the export of mRNA from the nucleus. The remainder of the video will be focused on the transport of molecules by the nuclear pore complex and the roles of nuclear localization signals and nuclear export signals. Throughout this explanation, all proteins containing a signal and being transported either from or into the nucleus will be referred to as cargo. Small proteins which are synthesised in the cytoplasm are able to freely diffuse into the nucleus through the nuclear pore complex. However, larger proteins will require a nuclear localisation signal in order to be imported. If a large protein has a nuclear localisation signal, the cargo can bind to a cytosolic nuclear import receptor. This complex can then pass through the nuclear pore complex along the Fg nuclear porin. Once inside the nucleus, RANGTP binds to the receptor, causing a dissociation from the cargo. The receptor is then recycled back into the cytoplasmic side of the nuclear pore complex and can be used again. Nuclear export occurs in much the same way. The large protein with the nuclear export signal and RANGTP bind to a nuclear export receptor inside the nucleus. This complex is then able to move through the nuclear pore complex again along the Fg nuclear porins. At the cytoplasmic side of the nuclear envelope, the RANGTP is hydrolyzed to form RANGDP and an inorganic phosphate. This reaction also causes the cargo to dissociate from the receptor.